quality. And when I read the news or I present programs, <clears throat> I bring it for you to see. So right now, I'm getting ready to read the news and shortly you will see what I have done on air via news reading. So I want you to stay with me on this channel. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and click on the notification bell for you to know when I upload new videos. Thank you very much for stopping by and stay tuned. A very good afternoon to you and welcome to Radio Nigeria South South Zone News at 3. The headlines Residents of Biosa State express frustration over continuous fuel scarcity. Governor of Cross River State advocates inclusiveness of youths in governance. Dozens of Zimbabwe opposition supporters detained. Today's commentary is on mother tongue and socialization. Details shortly. The PVC gives you the part to elect credible leaders. Get your PVC today. My name is Rachel Ona with the news. Now the news in full. Students of Yenagoa have expressed frustration over the continuous fuel scarcity, which is biting harder in many parts of the Balsa State capital. Long queues are still spotted, mostly in NNPC filling stations in Yenagoa, while private outlets in areas such as Amarata, Yenizue Gene, Akemfa are crash cashing in on the situation to sell fuel between 280 to 290 naira per liter, causing commercial motorists and motorcyclists to hike transport fares occasioned by the scarcity. Our resident, Mr. Clever Bonsoe, said he preferred to be in queue in petrol station rather than buying the adulterated fuel at black market price, pointing out that most of the filling stations in the capital and its environs were either shut to customers or have increased the pump price of the commodity. Our customer, Emmanuel Chuku, noted that the scarcity has slowed down economic activities in the state as most commercial and private vehicles were up the roads, lamenting that black marketers used the scarcity to sell petrol for as high as three to 4,000 Naira for 10 liters. A dealer in petrol in gallons, Mr. Abraham Michael, asserted that he decided to sell on black market due to the queue in the various petrol stations in the state capital stressing that the business has reduced the burden of the people staying on queues. Hannah Neil Jackson, who monitored the development, reports that most petrol stations along the ever-busy Mbiyama Yenagoa Road and the Isaac Borough Expressway have not opened for business in the past days, making consumers to suspect that they might be hoarding the product. Black market trading has intensified along the ever busy as it borrow expressway. Delta State Bursary and Scholarship Board says the agency has completed the payment of bursary for 2021 batch while registration of students for the current cycle ends on March 17. The board has also set up bursary registration centers in tertiary institutions to ease the execution of the state's Students' Special Assistance Scheme. Executive Secretary, Delta State Bursary and Scholarship Board, Mr. Sande Urushedere, met this known in Asaba while speaking to journalists on the implementation of the 2021-2022 Bursary Scheme. Mr. Sande Urushedere noted that the registration centers were arranged following the partnership between the board and the National Identity Management Commission which has strengthened the process of selection of beneficiaries. He said a total of 18,761 students qualified for bursary out of over 24,000 applications. Tassande Rishedere added that the scholarship board has computerized the state bursary registration and payment systems to check attempts by unqualified persons to bypass the process. The governor of Cross River State, Professor Ben Ayade, has enjoined youths in the state to take their destiny in their hands to determine a future for themselves. The governor who made this known in Calabar during a youth summit organized by APC Youths in the state opined that it was high time the youths believed in themselves 
not in that no one else has a responsibility to mold and enable them to attain their destiny. While urging the youth to remain focused on their aspirations, the governor advised them to always put their minds above their problems, noting that it is in doing so that they can achieve greatness in their different interests. Advocating for the inclusiveness of youth, young people at all levels in governance, Governor Ayade pointed out that the mileage made by his administration in the various sectors of the state's economy were achieved through his